Some new concerns are being raised about the images children are being exposed to online, even on sites specifically targeting children. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo is here to explain just how serious this is. Christy? Well, and experts we spoke with tell us that companies like YouTube Kids spend a fortune on filters. They even offer parental controls. But despite all of those measures, some inappropriate content is still slipping through. Kids YouTube. Despite its name, seven-year-old Tanner Markham found out YouTube Kids isn't always so kid-friendly. This popped up in videos he was watching. Mama, Mama's gonna kill you. It was just creepy out. It had a B-shaped mouth. Also disturbed by what she found was pediatrician and mom, Dr. Free Hess, who blogged about the violent content, sexual innuendo, and even this clip she found spliced into kids' videos. Remember kids? We paused it right where it gave tips. On risk cutting. We have no idea um, what seeing this content does to children. Their, their brains are not fully developed, so they're not able to think through complex um, situations such as the things that they're seeing. This is a problem that's happened with YouTube before. Diana Graber of Capistrano Beach wrote the book Raising Humans in a Digital World. She says when it comes to YouTube, the best defense is to watch with your kids. I think this is a really good reminder for parents and caregivers that we cannot leave young children alone with devices or with YouTube or with anything online. Google, which owns YouTube, tells CBS News we rely on both user flagging and smart detection technology to flag this content for our reviewers. Every quarter, we remove millions of videos and channels that violate our policies. But in Studio City, we found parents like Alexis Coulter who say when it comes to YouTube with their young kids, they just say no. I'm very aware of like having to protect that space. It's really hard now being a parent because you just don't have the control that you had when I was a kid. Experts tell us the problem is not unique to YouTube kids, but the app is getting a lot of attention because of its popularity with children. And we should also mention that the two examples we showed in our story, the allegation in both cases was that unknown people, for unknown reasons, had spliced inappropriate content into existing kids' videos. Now parents are sharing their experiences with the hashtag ProtectOurKids.